everyone and welcome to this video song frontier video my name is Jay Wakefield now recently I did a video where I spoke about how to deban your hard disk as in how to use Derek's boot and nuke program to secure erase it now in that video I referred to using image burn to burn a copy of the uh, deban CD image that you would have to download and I said that uh, maybe I would be doing um, a video on how to use image burn well I thought that now would be a good time to do that as I have to uh, burn myself a Windows Vista DVD uh, with um, which to install the uh, Packard Bell computer that video is probably already up now but um, anywho seem to have uh, got myself in an interesting situation where I have uh, videos in various stages of completion and yeah it's <laughs> gonna have to upload I'm gonna have to actually spend some time editing and uploading stuff anywho so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use image burn to burn this DVD first step you wanna get a blank DVD you'll just have to trust that I'm holding one hopefully you'll hear me insert it now to the optical drive this optical drive optical disk <coughs> right now because I'm using Windows 8 this has came up DVD RW drive I uh, tap to choose what happens with blank DVDs if you're using Windows XP Windows Vista or Windows 7 you'll get a dialog box up in the uh, middle of the screen actually telling you what's happening you know kind of what you can do with a DVD what we're actually gonna do is open up image burn um, so it's um, it should you know if you've installed it um, you can download it just um, I think it's uh, In fact, uh, I'll show you uh, where to find it. I think it's yep, imageburn.com, and then literally click download, and then download from uh, any of the mirrors. Click to download, and then just save the file then open it and follow the on-screen instructions to install it. Like I said, I already have Image Burn installed, so um, go to Start All Programs and it will be in the Start menu. Yeah, I have Start 8. This is why I have a Start menu on Windows 8. Now, what we want to do is we actually want to write an image file to the disk. So I'm going to select this button here, make sure I have the correct DVD drive. If you have two, make sure you're uh, use the correct one. Now some people like to verify their disks once they've burned. Um, that is a good idea but for the purposes of this video I'm not going to. To be honest I'm in, I get myself into bad habits and I don't always um, yeah I don't always uh, verify my disks. In fact I very rarely do and that's not a good thing. So here's the uh, image that um, I want to burn to DVD. Um, so I'm just going to click open. So what I did is I went to browse for file, selected the one I wanted and selected open. Um, write speed AWS. Now UXW Bell would say, you know, write it at a slow speed. Therefore, you know, it will, uh, you know, you can, you'll make a better copy at a slower speed. I'm going to be, I'm going to do this wrong and burn it at the maximum speed. Now because of the type of image this is, actually no, it's um, no, it's actually just going to do it. Um, again, make sure you're using the right type of disk for the right image. You know, if, if your image is over 700, 650 to 700 megs, use a DVD. If it's under 700 megs use a CD you know don't waste DVDs Dep 
depending on the speed of your DVD burner and the size of the image you're wanting to burn, now this can take you know, anywhere from like you know a few seconds to a few minutes or even you know an hour or so at the, the slowest speeds. This is a I think a twenty I think this is a eighteen to twenty speed burner. I can't even mind exactly how fast it is, but um, it's it is pretty fast. Um, whereas laptops, which a lot of people have these days, or desktops with slimline burners, they will generally be something like an eight speed burner or something like that. Okay, so this is nearly done burning. Now. You'll see how the uh, buffer and device buffer bars, the buffer bar has remained full, but the device buffer bar can move up and down. That is perfectly normal. Um, obviously, if the device buffer and the actual buffer, you know, got too low halfway through burning, it would actually create a coaster as the stream of data would be gone. But because there's... Because... Um, you know this was finishing burning the buffer and the device buffer actually did empty because there was no more data to write and that um, that cheerful tune that uh, you heard there um, signified that the burn has completed you also have a wee dialogue saying operation successfully completed now if we go into my computer Yes, and I know I have drives that are full. We will find that Windows Vista has burned to a DVD, which is fantastic. So that is how to burn a DVD using ImageBurn. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please feel free to subscribe. Um, the URLs will follow for um, the YouTube channel, Facebook page, and my website. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope you all join me for the next one.